Hello, Jim. Wake up! The fascists are coming! Hey, now, you want coffee? Gotta go. Was that Jim? Yeah. What a clown. I know, but at least we don't have to set the alarm clock anymore. I guess. That reminds me, what year is it anyway? 2007? I'm gonna be late! Don't worry, once we get this clown out of office, everything's gonna get better. Everyone will have a job giving them back their dignity, and it'll be illegal to complain, because negativity sucks. That reminds me, I got you something. A present? Yeah. What is it? Uh, not really sure. Uh, it was the last one they had. Oh, this blood is probably from some dignified worker of the people. Some poor bastard who had no freedom at all. But I saved so much money. <laughs> it was so cheap, in fact. The store gave me a refund the instant I bought it. I figured with all this money we saved, we can go buy something useless and disposable, you know? You know, I actually had to crush one anonymous shopper beneath my feet to get this. I discovered in the parking lot I had his face stuck to my shoe. I thought it was a rock. But imagine my surprise, I'm out there in the parking lot scraping this guy's face off of my shoe with a stick. Oh, I brought it with me, you want to see it? I don't know. Where was it made? Made in Temecula. Gross! I don't want that. Probably some conspiracy theorist. He deserved it. Yes, he did. So what is it anyway? No idea. No idea whatsoever. In the whole wide world. No idea at all. Time to go away. I will. Are coming. Did you tell him to go away? I was going to, but he did it himself. Why does he come around here anyway? He knows we can't stand him. I don't know. What year is it anyway? 2008? Oh, I'm gonna be late. Actually, I don't really have work exactly. I know, right? At least we got the illiterate capitalist out of office. Yeah, I know. Everything is so much better now. I mean, nothing has really changed. Except for slightly being worse with no chance of ever improving. But we're winning. I <laughs> know. Obama just created 50,000 new minimum wage futureless jobs at McDonald's that no one wants. And I hear we're gonna be in Afghanistan until 2014. Which, um, is the opposite of what he said he was going to do. I think he just extended the Patriot Act. But he had to, because, you know, sometimes in order to undo the work of your predecessor, you have to do the same work. But just better. Just to show the other guy how dumb he was. But I know. It's so great we're winning. So great we're winning. Hey, hold your horses, Paul Revere. Wake up! The fascists are coming! Man, what fascists? We have a black president now. That's like the opposite of Hitler. You know, the only thing that could be better than this is if he was gay. And he probably is, but he, he just can't say it because, you know, we got negative people like you to judge him for it. I mean, can't you see that I'm offended? I'm saying this in the most self-righteous tone I can muster. Your Obama is the greatest step-and-fetch Uncle Tom of all time. Yeah. No one's done more to erode the liberties and dignities of the black race than the people who use Obama to do their dirty work. 
He is a willing, complicit front man for the globals who are destroying this economy and the economy of the world. While you sit back in a quote catchphrases like hope and change, like unthinking stooges, our economy and our infrastructure is reverting back to third world level and they're letting it happen. Hell, they're making it happen. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Who, who's they? Uh, oh, let me guess, you're fascists. That's right, John. The fascists. The New World Order. Did you know that on September 11, 1991, George Bush Sr. gave a speech in which he mentioned the new possibilities for a New World Order? Whoa, whoa. Conspiracy theorist? It's a fact, John. And ten years later, rogue elements within an anti-American government told us about a bunch of guys in caves in Afghanistan got the most sophisticated national defense system in the history of the planet to stand down because of a training drill? You want to talk conspiracy? Also, for the first time in the history of physics, two planes completely pulverized on impact, leaving not so much as a, a landing gear or a tail fin behind? I'm talk, talking, of course, about the plane that supposedly hit the Pentagon and, and the one that went down in Pennsylvania. Completely pulverized on impact. Mm. On the same day. Mm. For the first time in the history of the laws of physics. John. Look, I, I don't believe in hate. Look at this. This is my new phone. It's an Obama phone. Got it for free. Yes, it is. And did you know that the National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA for short, codified into law a bill stating indefinite detention of American citizens without trial? And your President Obama signed it on New Year's Eve 2011 while you were out getting drunk. Hey, I like getting drunk. I'm aware of that, John. But it doesn't change the facts. Obama is continually used as an example of the success of the civil rights movement. But do you think for a second Dr. Martin Luther King would support any president that would sign into law a bill codifying indefinite detention without trial? Do you even know what that means? That means that they can put you in prison forever just because they think that you might be a threat to whatever it is they want you to think that you're a threat to at any time without trial. How is this not fascism? Do you think that there's even remotely the possibility that you've been duped, even 10%? 10% doesn't matter, okay? We voted. Democracy. The people rule. What is it exactly that you rule at, John? Hey, we don't appreciate you coming around here and spatting off your hate. You probably don't even have a governmental tracking device on you at all times, so you can connect with your friends, do you? My phone's attached to my wall at home, thank you very much. Phone? That's not a phone! That's a capitalistic hate machine! I'm calling the police! Maybe I can get some more food stamps as a reward. We're not a democracy, John. We're a constitutional republic. But I ain't got time to get into it right now. Go to Infowars.com for more information. What year is it anyway? Uh, let's see. It is... Uh... 2015, the year of the unthinking ass. According to the people's calendar, if you had one of these. Look, I gotta go. Good luck, John. Whatever, dude. <sighs> Turning this off. Don't want anyone else waking us up this morning. Enough of this, buddy. You think it's about time to stop. Oh, what did I do? You turned your phone off for over a minute, which means we had to route your audio to your TV, laptop, toaster, and God knows how many other devices are in this house that is capable of surveillance, which is illegal under statute of so and so, whether vague, shadowy government force number, whatever. whatever it is, which is punishable by death. Do you want to die, punk? Do you want to die by lethal application of really big knives? I don't know. What do you think, honey? Yes, he does, officer. He wants to die. Take him away. Kill him however you want. 
Just don't hurt him, please. Here's a drawing of a gun you can use. You know it's illegal to have a drawing of a gun in the house, ma'am. I can have you instantly destroyed for possession of irrelevant and innocuous contraband. Really? Does that mean that the ultimate cowardice could finally be mine? Yes, ma'am, it does. Would you like to submit yourself to the ultimate cowardice? It wouldn't be the first time now, would it? No, I've been a nanny state bootlicker ever since I can remember. Well, come along then. What about our house? Belongs to the Chineses. I see your place is loaded to the gills with Chinese slave goods. I'm sure they'll feel right at home when they move in. Oh, what a relief. Can I at least get my Obama phone? Shut up, punk. They can't see! That's nothing new. Well, what about Jim? Who's Jim? Does he have a Facebook? I don't know. I don't think so. He said he didn't believe in posting his whereabouts in the evening on a police station bulletin board. Can you believe that? How is he gonna connect with his friends? He didn't have any friends, lol. Did I mean to say that? I probably meant OMG. I'm sorry. Please kill me for the earth. This Jim sounds like someone we'd be very interested in meeting. Can you tell us a little bit more about him? He hated us. He really hated us. Yeah, we know his type. Tell us more, slave. <laughs> didn't even have a phone. He didn't even have any friends. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What year is it, anyway? We're not going to be late for anything, are we? It's too late already. What a relief. <laughs>